When did it become acceptable to take medical advice from celebrities? Has society degraded so much so that celebrity worship and obsession cloud the legitimacy of actual medical advice from a doctor? The celebrities preaching advice about anything from vaccinations, extreme diets, and alternative medicine don't have the expertise to advise us on anything at all. And for the people following along, this isn't about being healthy and having a child's best interests in mind. It's about an image and how people perceive them. It's about the latest trend. And their actions are symbolic of a reckless disregard for the truth and a reckless disregard for science and technology when the world needs them the most. Jenny McCarthy insists that autism is caused by vaccines, which has caught on like wildfire and now parents everywhere are selfishly choosing not to protect their children against diseases like polio and whooping cough. There are mountains of scientific evidence against the claim that autism is associated with vaccines. In fact, the lone study supporting the theory was completely retracted. Autism isn't even an immune-mediated disease and it typically presents within the first two years of life. Of course, when kids are getting immunized with the most frequency, making its appearance appear coincidence at the very best. And hypotheses pointing toward the connection between vaccines and autism have been debunked time and time again. Anti-vaccine celebrities act as if vaccines didn't eradicate diseases off the face of the planet and contribute to conversations filled with rhetoric and factoid pollution that's actually the opposite of what extensive research has shown. Out of the 14 diseases listed on this chart, there is an 80% or more decrease for each and every one of them, thanks to modern science and the introduction of vaccines through modern medicine. And what's worse is that other kids are suffering as a result of the carelessness of parents that don't vaccinate their children. Case in point, a father in Edmonton that has a son with brain cancer who was subjected to the measles is calling for mandatory vaccinations in Alberta. His son had not received vaccinations due to complications from his existing illness, and not to mention the fact that his immune system would have wiped them out anyways. This means that immune compromised people depend on healthy individuals to be vaccinated for their protection. And what's more is that the false claim that autism is associated with vaccinations is causing measles outbreaks across the globe due to widespread panic. But the consequences of not vaccinating kids are far more grave in some circumstances. Right here in Alberta, Ezekiel Stefan, a 19 month old baby boy that died after contracting bacterial meningitis, his parents, David and Colette, failed to provide the necessities of life. The reason? They opted to use a combination of peppers, garlic, horseradish, natural remedies, and medical advice from WebMD over taking their child to a doctor, even after a nurse advised them to do so after physical tests for the child being inflicted with meningitis were positive. Instead, the parents chose to take the advice of a naturopath, where on a trip to pick up some suggested natural remedies, the boy had to be put in the back of the vehicle on a mattress because his back and neck stiffness were so severe that he couldn't sit in a car seat. And the death of this child could have been avoided by administering a vaccine, once at four months and the other at 12 months, which is suggested by Alberta Health Services. But these parents had never taken their child to see a doctor. In fact, they didn't believe that their son's symptoms were even extreme. And as a result of relying on the internet, believed that he had viral meningitis and not bacterial meningitis, which he was diagnosed with and is the worst of the two. Bacterial meningitis can also be treated with antibiotics and corticosteroids. There has been a real transgression from respecting the advice of trained and qualified professionals to taking the advice of someone that did something funny on TV that one time. That faction of society has gotten caught up in being trendy rather than doing what's logical and backed by experts and scientific evidence. And their choices aren't about lifestyle or protecting kids. It's about promoting an image and how people see them. David and Colette Stefan have now been charged with failing to provide the necessities of life in their son's death. 
but how many more children will have to die before the science skeptics realize that vaccines and doctors save lives? For the Rebel.media, I'm Holly Nicholas. Thanks for watching. Click here to never miss a Rebel update. Want even more of the Rebel? Well, click here to become a premium member.